sweatpants, paper towels, ketchup, steak, fruit, candles, get your tires changed, your oil changed, all in one place. It may also be the place to buy your next TV. I Hey, what's up guys? I'm Brian. This is Tech Therapy. Today's video is on Costco as a possible option for you to purchase your next TV. The reason I want to talk about Costco is there are very few large brick and mortar stores available here in Connecticut or my part of the U.S. on the East Coast. We have Best Buy. We also have PC Richard and Son that specialize in appliances and TVs, audio, video, a lot of different stuff that they have now. Costco is a wholesale store, much like Sam's Club and BJ's. And we also have competitors like Walmart and Target. Now, what separates Costco from the others, as far as I'm concerned, is Costco is one of the few that still has higher end options. If you look at Walmart and Target, at least in my area on the East Coast, also the Costco's that I'll be showing you in this video are in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina and Connecticut. The Walmarts in the areas and the Targets that I visited have now gotten rid of all of their high-end panels on the floor. They do still sell them online. Costco, however, does and has put more effort and money into their TV setup and kiosks, as I will show you in the footage after my little intro here, that'll show you that they've really stepped up their game. They went from having some higher end panels years ago with the top end Vizios and some of the other brands to getting pretty dormant for a few years and then introducing OLEDs at smaller sizes, now at larger sizes. Let's check out the footage. We'll come back and wrap up and give you my final thoughts. All right, guys, as we walk into the Costco here in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, I want to wish you guys a very happy new year. It is New Year's Day 2023. First off, we are seeing a QNED and a Sony X90K. Now, it'll bring up our first kind of issue with Costco is the names of their displays are personalized for their store. All retailers or larger retailers have done this. There are subtle differences. A lot of times they add features versus subtracting features, but you always want to double check. A few years back with the 900H, there were two different variants. One didn't have HDMI 2.1. Now, this was filmed yesterday, so this part of Costco in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, the prices are valid as of yesterday. Now, the second portion will be filmed in Norwalk, Connecticut a few years, a few years, a few months back, so those prices would not be valid. The point is showing you two different versions of two different stores and how their uh, stocking is very consistent. Now, as I mentioned in the intro, and there's the Allstate member uh, ship, is Costco years ago was one of the only places to get a very high-end Vizio. I love this LG kiosk. Samsung kiosk is also very nice. Having the demo material split between two LG OLEDs. But as I mentioned a few years ago, the only place you could get a Vizio Quantum P-Series for the most part was in person in a Costco. BJ's and Sam's Club carry those brands as well, but stop carrying them in person. At least the BJ's have. Now, here you have your Hisense. It's not the U8H. But again, those types of panels can be found on their website. Now, these LG UHD, you know, I always call them Crystal Dynamics, which isn't the proper term for them. Them and their Samsung counterpart are really the best-selling TVs that they have in these stores. They're large, they're cheap, though that one doesn't look cheap right there. That's actually an OLED. <laughs> it's an A80K, which looks amazing. But for a while there, I didn't see any Sony panels in store until about three years ago. So as I mentioned, they had a lot of panels uh, large and small, but the larger ones were typically like that Samsung you just saw there. 
and then they would drop drastically in quality. Then the OLED started coming in at very small sizes. They max at 77 in store. But if you look at that LG there, they have 86 inch. People typically get very attracted to the 86 inch size and then look at the price of, you know, less than a thousand dollars. They're hard panels to recommend. A lot of times they lack any kind of local dimming, typically large IPS panels. But as you can tell by the store, it's very clean. What I like about the way they have their, you know, boxes placed, and I'll show you later at the end of this segment, is they're on pallets. They're drop shipped. They're not moved as much. They're wrapped up, meaning they're not ordered singularly. They're not getting tossed around a small box or truck. They're not being thrown around by the drivers. They're on pallets. They stay on pallets. They get brought down this way or they're stacked by one person this way. They're not really getting thrown around a truck, as I've seen very high-end panels delivered to me being thrown around by the drivers. Now, very little in the way of demo material. I don't love that. A lot of their own commercials, the little commercials you see up there don't show you very much in terms of picture quality. Now there's the stock I want to show you is that you can see what's in stock right there. Pallet up, pallet down, wrap tight, very little movement. You can pretty much see what they have in stock, but I love that what they have in stock is right in front of you. And I've mentioned there are other models on their website. I mentioned that in the wrap up of this video, they have projectors, short throw projectors, 8K TVs. They just couldn't possibly have all that in store, though they should have their AK line up here. Now, here we are moving into the Norwalk location. So these prices will not be valid. What I liked about this location, even a few months ago, is they still had a QN90A from last year. But be very careful with the model numbers. Make sure that they are valid as far as what year you're buying. I do like that they had the A1 and the B1 and the B2. It's another Hisense. I would like to see higher end Hisense and TCLs in store. Looking forward to talking to them at CES and to find out why they don't have more of a store presence. Because their models, TCL and Hisense, their flagships are excellent. Now here I am walking around with my cart. Now again, filming in these stores is a little less comfortable. So people are very, uh, not love. they're not loving people filming in stores. Whether it's the uh, retailer or the customers, they get very bugged out by that. So I'm in here with a cart full of steaks <laughs> as I walk around this location. I also do like that Costco has, they have monitors, speakers, subwoofers, mini systems, alarms, phones. They have quite a bit now. Well, they've always had that, but they have now more than ever. Now, this is also the first place where I saw a QNED. Now, this might be last year's QNED, as we know. Only one version of the QNED was released this year. The other two were canceled. Let me know what your thoughts are as we look at Samsung. I really do like having kiosks. Uh, some of you guys find them tacky. I do think they're still necessary from the manufacturer. Now the memberships range from, I believe, 120 to $75. Um, I'll show it at the end of the video. I have a picture of it. I have the executive one, which I think just gives you points back. I don't really buy much in Costco. I typically have the membership just to be able to film in store. And I almost got rid of the membership because the Vizio Quantum P-Series wasn't even here anymore. And try buying one online. We'll do a video on Vizio um, as they show up here. Their M-Series was available on Walmart, not available here. Their V-Series, their D-Series. I think they're going to make a comeback this year. So we will have a video on them on where is Vizio. 
But for a while, they were the brightest TV in the store with the Quantum XP series. Pan down to those ribeyes. Move up. Now, again, these prices aren't valid that they were taken a few months back. Now, they changed to Allstate Insurance over another insurance before that. They're pretty similar to your phone where you call and they'll either replace it or try to fix it. Now, look at the numbering on there is QN90A with a D instead of 9D. So that is last year's model. And then here we are showing you some of the other options, the things that they do have in the store. Speakers, all kinds of different stuff, subwoofers. And I do like their LG kiosk here. But again, Sam's Club, BJ's, the ones I've been to. I showed you some of the footage from the Super Walmart. Everything is on the lowest end and just kind of thrown together. Even a Super Walmart in South Carolina, where they're more prevalent than where I am, um, very little effort in their TV department. Target as well. But good to see Sony back here. And again, there's a quick thing where they make you feel like there's many more options than there are, where every different aisle has different sizes of the same TV. So it does give you the illusion that there are more models. And then here's just the most random, you know, scooters next to food. There's your thermals, your socks. They have a little bit of everything, but it is cool to grab all, grab yourself a pair of socks, get your tires changed and rotate to get some oil changed and then grab your latest TV. Some wine, total different alcohol section. There's your sparkling water and there's like a random heater right there in the corner. And grab yourself some pizza on the way out. All right, guys, here's my wrap up. All right, guys, now going through the footage, I know we are in two different locations. Filming in public like that isn't easy. I'm a rather big guy and people are a little sensitive to watching some guy walk around with a camera. But I will say for me, Costco is an excellent option on where to buy your next TV. Mom and pop places like Value Electronics are very rare these days. Best Buy and PC Richard and Son do specialize in these appliances, washers, dryers, and other things. Costco for me's biggest strength is a couple different things. One of them is their return window, their warranty. You have 90 days. You are a member. So that is part of it to think of. There is a membership to pay for. However, their 90 day return window is pretty much um, no questions asked. That's not meaning bring back a thousand TVs in a row, but for the most part, they're pretty lenient about you bringing back TVs. Panel lottery is real. They also don't mind if you bring back a TV because you've changed your mind. I wouldn't tell them you've changed your mind, but they're good with you returning. My thoughts on why this is, is that Costco sells thousands and thousands of different products and makes all kinds of money off of those products on a daily basis. When it comes to a Best Buy, PC Richard & Son, or other um, retailers, they would notice a $5,000 or $7,000, $2,000, $1,500 return in their stores. Costco's and wholesalers like them have shoppers all day. Majority of people walking in those stores are leaving with something. Very few people walk in those stores and browse at the steaks and garlic bread and the produce and paper towels. You typically have a membership, you go in, you leave. They can sustain some returns. You are also a member. Having that warranty, you can pay a couple hundred extra dollars for a warranty, which is similar to your phone warranties. I know they've changed it, as I mentioned in the footage. Those, I believe, do not cover burn-in. You also typically have another year through Costco and then the manufacturer. So you're pretty much covered. Mostly, I also like, other than the return window, is the ability to walk into the store with a large vehicle, 
buy your TV, put it in your car and bring it home. Everything with e-commerce now is delivery, delivery windows, having people in your home. That is dicey now more than ever. Setting time aside and waiting for that, waiting for drivers, tipping drivers, having return windows can be an absolute nightmare. The ability to walk in with a friend um, with a large vehicle or a small vehicle, find what you want, Typically, it's right in stock. It's right in front of you. Take it, put it on a U-boat, put it in your cart, bring it home as something that is really going away. Now, Best Buy has that as well, but only certain of their panels or certain of their TVs are available. The ones you typically see on the floor, anything larger for the most part, unless it's one of the cheaper ones on sale, they don't have a lot in the warehouse. They will ship to you, which kind of defeats the purpose of buying in store, leads you back to the Amazons and back to e-commerce. Same thing with returning your TVs. You can actually bring them back to this location. I I'm not sure about buying online and returning to the location. I'm fairly certain you can do that. Not 100% positive. I will double check on that and leave a comment at the bottom of this video. Um, they do have more options online, as I've mentioned in the video, and I will show on screen here while I'm speaking. They have AK TVs. They have short throat projectors. That's a little bit where they're like Walmart and Target, where they offer other things on their website. It's just a shame that Target and Walmart don't have those things in store. I do fully believe you should be able to see your TVs, touch them, see them, even if it's with demo material, maybe get your hands on the remote, take it for a test drive before bringing something home that large or that expensive. The limitations of Costco, I would say, is they don't have a lot of options. They don't have a ton from each manufacturer. They've always lacked a lot of the very highest end. You rarely will see a Q900B. You'll see the 800. You won't really see a QN95B. Now, I'll check on the website, but in store, it's typically OLEDs being the highest end. And then they trickle down to, say, the QN85 and those lower brands. I'd love to see them spend more time on the higher end. However, I'm sure with their research, these are the models. So what I mean by that is if you buy something high end, like a larger OLED, you can take them home. If something goes wrong with that panel or you don't love it, there aren't a lot of options to choose from that you would see at a Best Buy where you can get the Q900B or another flagship. So typically they're limited that way. Back in the day in the Vizio P series or Quantum P series, that was the only large high-end panel. If you had a 75 inch like I had, it was defective. You really had no real option to try something else. Other than that, I think it's a great place to purchase, return window, warranties, and the ability to pick up your display, bring it home is something that is going away. So I do recommend Costco. Again, not a huge selection, more online, but I do really appreciate that they've taken their TV area more serious. Looking better, the kiosks are really nice. And what's funny is while you're walking through the store, and I should have said this, and I probably did say this during the footage, is what they go by is they have their larger panels out front, but as you go by aisle, an aisle, it looks like there's many more choices. In reality, what you see is another aisle having the smaller size. So they have a separation by aisles making you think there's more, but I do appreciate their setup. Over the years, at least in my experience, BJ's and Sam's Club have stepped away, much like Walmart and Target, from having higher end panels on display. It's mostly lower end, nothing wrong with that. However, Having both is where I would recommend for you to go to buy either a high-end or a mid-tier, even a low-end. So Costco, recommended. Check it out. Please consider there is a membership fee, but you can also get a credit card from them, things of that nature. I don't know if I recommend doing that, but it's all about your personal finances. But Costco, good place to look and a place to check out in 2023. I'm Brian. This is Tech Therapy. Thank you so much for watching. Take care.